there, guys. Welcome back. I am pumped today, feeling the energy, and so excited to tell you that we have two amazing callers today called Gigi and Chase. We're going to kick it off with Chase, who got to live out, I feel like everyone's fantasy, with his sexy professor. Then following up by a call from Gigi, who started hooking up with her best friend's brother. I know, I've been there. <laughs> They're going to be telling us all about their deepest secrets in just a few moments, and I'm so glad that you're here to listen to them with me. The following content contains adult subject matter, including sensitive material, and is intended for adult consumption only. It may not be suitable for all audiences. Therefore, discretion is advised. Lele Pons is not a trained expert, but is using her personal experiences and platform to create a space for sensitive discussions. Just a heads up, if you have a secret that you want to share, make sure to head to shots.com slash secrets, and I could be talking to you next week. All right, it's time for our first caller. Chase, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. And okay, so me and the audience are dying to know what is your secret? Okay, well, if you don't tell anyone, my secret is <laughs> when I was in college, me and my college professor would have sex in our classroom before the rest of the students came in. You're literally every porn video that I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess so. That's what it sounds like. It's so I know, hot. It, it's like... It, it's like a fantasy, but like, but now it's a reality. So Oof. it's 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 kind of crazy. The risk, the 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 thing of being like doing it, you know, like without nobody knowing, especially like bro, you know how many movies there's been. Oh yeah, I mean, people I think are so intrigued by it, and you know, so one day I just like had the balls and I just reached out, and and it, I guess it just worked out for me. Yeah, no, I I love that, and you know what? Like college, I feel like you guys are like older, like you know, like I feel like. When you go to college, you're like, what, 21, you know, like 20? Yeah, like we're adults, so we yeah, can make like, our own decisions, right? We're dying to know, how did it happen? What subject? Okay, uh, what subject? Yeah. Oh, that's actually really funny. Okay, so <laughs> it's funny because the subject, I still have no idea. I didn't learn a darn thing from that damn class because I was too busy staring at um, our teacher. And he's one of those teachers. He was young. He was like early 30s so attractive everyone like wanted to be with him everyone talked about him everyone was like oh yeah the hot teacher wow. so i was in his class and it was music theory so he's trying to teach music. us music i knew it i should have i should have said yeah. it i don't know why I, <laughs> all i think about was like it. the strings you know like like i said i didn't learn a damn thing from that class but it's just like one of those things when he talks like nothing came out of his mouth i was just watching his eyes and watching the way that he walked around the class and i just remember a few weeks into his class, I would start giving him those like sexy eyes. You know what I mean? Where you just like look at someone and you're just like, yeah, yeah, I want you. Oh. And then he would like look at me and then be like, what? And then he would keep walking away. How did you know he was like gay though? You know? Because I, I bet the girls were liking him too. Well, yeah, no, the girls and the guys liked him. And yeah. that's, I think, what was fun about the first part of like, you know, having class with him. You really don't know. So it's one of those things where you're like, okay, I'm going to like smile at you. Okay, I'm going to stare at you. I'm going to... And then there would be little things that I would do. He would, um, he had some tattoos on his body. So I remember being like, oh, I was like, oh, I really like, you know, that tattoo. And then I would kind of make a joke about it or make fun of the tattoo. And then he would joke back with me. So then I was like, okay. Party. And so finally it got to the point where I just like would stare at him so much. He would like wink or like he would smile at me Shut and up. then that's like when you turn know. around. That's, that's, and, like, that's your like, entrance yes. right there. Woo! Oh my God. I was like, I was like, light is green. Let's go. So, okay, okay. so I remember one night I was um I was in my dorm and I was by myself and it had to be like one in the morning or something and you know when you just have that courage in the middle of the night because you think you can do anything. Oh no, a hundred percent. Yes, yes. It's like the witching hour. You're like, this is it. Like, That's when you call everybody. Go. You start calling everybody. Yes. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What so was... we were Facebook friends and I remember I went on like I went to Facebook and I was like, I'm gonna message him because you know what? Why not? Like, what's the worst that can happen? He doesn't respond. He doesn't whatever. So all I do. I go into my messenger and I just send my phone number, nothing else, no hi, no nothing, just my phone number. And so I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting, like 20 minutes goes by, 30 minutes goes by, and I'm like freaking out, like I'm sweating bullets. And finally he responds and he says, after I just send my phone number, he goes, are these winning lottery ticket numbers? And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So then I said, I responded back and I said, I don't know why, are you feeling lucky, winky face? And then from then on, it was a, just a shoot, you know, and it was just a basket. And him and I just kept talking and flirting. 
and talking and flirting. And then he would text me and we would talk on the phone. And it was like, it was, it was actually kind of like not serious, but like, it was, I don't know. It was just weird to like have this kind of like, um, I guess, I don't know, like friendship with him right after that. Wait, wait, do you have to tell me, you have to tell me where you guys did it. When, how did it, it happen? Was crazy. It how was did crazy. he seduce you or no, you seduced him, obviously. So I seduced him. It was, it was, and that's the thing that I liked about this. It was a very mutual thing. It, it, I didn't feel any pressure from him. It was very much like me being like, this is what I want. Chase is hungry and he's ready to eat. You know what I mean? The first time it happened, it wasn't in the classroom. The first time he was like, oh, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. He added me on Snapchat and he's like, He's like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing this weekend? You should come over. Oh, well. So I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh. Um, Okay, yeah. So I, I went over and, like, it was, you know, it was good. Like, I'm I'm obviously over 21 by this point. And, like, we have a bottle of wine and we laugh that night Um, at his How place. was it? How was it? You know what? I'm going to be honest Oh, with you. here we go. I personally was nervous. I think he was nervous because I think I was, like, the first student of his. But then we kept talking and like we kept flirting in class and I remember texting him and I was like, yeah, like, you know, we should get together again. Like hopefully round two will be better. And he's like, why Do don't it you in the come- classroom? So he's- exactly. So he's like, why don't you come by my, um, my classroom sure. during lunch? Oh because I had lunch. God. I had lunch and then we have the class, you know? And I was like, okay, yeah. Like, um, I could be there during lunch, freaking the fuck out. So finally, I come inside, like I open the door and he's like sitting at his desk. He has his little glasses on. He takes off his glasses and he's like, hey. And I was like, hi. And he's like, how, he's like, how are you doing? And I was like, good. I was like, I just had a quick lunch. And he's like, amazing. So now he's like sitting on the front of his desk. And I'm like slowly creeping up to him, like walking up to him. And now I'm like almost between his like legs, like his legs are open, like sitting on this desk. And like, he's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And whatever. We don't even know what we're talking about. And I get closer to him and closer to him. And then we end up like literally making out hard on his desk. And then he like rips off my shirt. I rip off his pants. He pulls me onto the desk, literally. And I'm just like, oh my God. And I have so many things running through my mind. I'm like, okay, what do I smell like? Do I smell okay? I just had lunch. Is the door locked? Is anyone going to walk in? Oh, like literally I just had, I was freaking out and I just remember like grabbing onto him and like holding onto his tattoos. And I just remember like looking around, like looking at all the desks being like, Oh my God, I usually sit there and my friends sit there. And, and it was just so hot. And we did this for about, I want to say like three or four months. Um, wow. But the hardest part was the class started right after lunch. Right. Yeah. So I had to hide in the corner So when he unlocked the door and let people in, like after the first four or five people, I would pretend to like walk in through the door as well. But I was like really walking out of like this little nook in our classroom. And I was like, oh, hey, like, hey, you know, teacher's name, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh, hey, how's how's it going, everyone? And then I would sit there literally. You can't see the classroom the same anymore. Like you're literally like, look, Peter's sitting down. I'm like, I can't even think because the whole time, like. I'm still sweating from like having sex with this man. So I'm just like in class and he's talking and like, you can just tell like I'm flushed. He's flushed, but like he has to do his job. So he just like keeps teaching. And I'm just like, is this real life right now? Mm -hmm. Like, is this really happening? You didn't tell anybody. Okay. So I did tell one person because they were my best friend and like, they weren't in the class with me, but that was the only person I ever told. And as of now, like, I know that they did not tell one person. But I mean, like, I couldn't keep this, like, secret all to myself. I had to tell at least the one you person. You, my diary you can't just, just be excited by yourself. This is something that would no, tell probably everybody. Fun. You know, I had to have someone to cheer me on. Exactly. Um, but, yeah. It was, it was, it's, but I have not told anyone except that one person since. Okay. And this was a few years ago. Wow. And do you still yeah. see him right now, the, the teacher? You know what? I don't see him, but he still Snapchats me from time to time. Oh, wow. Oh, man. But yeah. that's such a love story. That I feel like it never works out, to be honest, sometimes. And that's the thing. Like, if, when you're really excited about it, like, to be fair, I really think the um, the chase of it and the yeah. excitement of it was more fun than the actual uh-huh. doing it. Because then I was like, oh, I expected it to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really wanted just like, Sock me in the face a little, you know. I don't know something that I could enjoy a bit more, but but you know what? I'll take it. Like it's still a fantasy. That I check that box. So on to the next fantasy, I guess. Yeah, that's a hard one to beat. Oof. I mean, you know what? I'm still young. We, you are young. I'm still, I'm still young. We'll see what's what's out there. So I'm not. 
But I mean, so far, that's that's definitely my top. Went through something similar. Not not my teacher, <gasps> but I worked with someone. And there's just something sexy about it. Just like not like you're like you two have a secret that nobody else knows exactly, about. and I you're working in, and you're just yeah. like winking at each other. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I, I love that. I miss that. Maybe I'll go to back to school just for that. Thank you so much for telling me this story. I was, I was, <laughs> I needed that. Like, I don't know. I we all that. need, especially in this quarantine. Yes, ah! I need a story like that. I love stories like that. It just keeps me alive. It just keeps me alive. <laughs> it gets you going for it another day. It gets me day. going. Thank you so much. Uh, and have of a great course. day. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. That was amazing i love him and i don't know why i got super excited i wish i was his best friend in the time you know how much gossip we would have like if there's a porn video that has to be like recommended more than any other is the one of the teacher and the student because the teacher and the student porn videos are one of the best ones and this guy lived it guys this guy probably doesn't see porn after this anymore he's like i lived it i don't give a fuck wow that must have been so hot and how do you go back to the like to your table like, how do you go back to the classroom and just, like, sit down there right after sex? Yeah, but I was about to say, like, that teacher has some balls. Like, you you can get fired, no? Like, what? why do it there? I mean, it's hot as fuck, but, like, wait for, like, at the end of the school. Like, not before lunch. Everybody's waiting probably outside. <laughs> for me, I can't believe no one ever suspected it. Four months and no one said shit. Like, no one was walking really randomly, you know, because I, I always used to go during lunchtime to just to ask a question to a teacher and no one did that for four months no one was like hey listen i forgot my book i'm gonna go i don't know drink water to my locker and hear like sex props to that i mentioned it real quick during my call with chase but i feel like i was in a sort of similar situation it wasn't with my teacher but i started sleeping with someone that i worked with at the time and having to keep it a secret was so sexy in the time. And, you know, it creates some excitement that I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just the risk, the risk of not getting caught. For example, we would just sneak out with his car in the middle of the night. Sometimes when we were sitting together, he would, like, touch my leg. Uh, he would just, like, look at me uh, during when I was, like, we were, like, working together while we were with the colleagues, other colleagues. Sometimes he would just message me, like, hey, come here, come there. What's great is like you feel the tension in the room and nobody else knows. And that's what kills me the most. I'm going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because we're about to have another juicy best kept secret coming up. Welcome back, guys. It's time for another best kept secret. You ready? Let's go. Hi, Gigi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I just want to know, what is your secret? Well, my secret is that I hooked up with my best friend's brother, and she doesn't know, and we are still hooking up. So you haven't told her yet? I wanted to tell her, but he doesn't want to tell her. So it's just like, we're just like not going to tell her. What? Did she never want you to do it? Like, do you think she's going to get mad at you? I mean, she doesn't care. I tried to tell her once, and then she just, like, blew it off. What do you mean, blew it off? Like, she thought it was just, like, a joke or something. Oh, and shit. And I was just like, oh, okay, so you, I, I guess you don't care. Uh, I mean, I feel like there's, like, different type of best friends. Like, if my best friend was, like, I don't know, like, like having sex with my brother, I feel like, oh, I would like her to be a part of my family. Yeah. You know, I'd be like, oh, my God, we're going to be, like, kind of, like, sisters or something like that. But I understand that some people probably think that's weird. Yeah. So, yeah, one time I did the same thing. I told my best friend uh, I wanted to be with her brother, and she said no. Yeah. But when did you first meet uh, her brother? When I was in uh, 11th grade. How long have you guys been friends, like, uh, you and your best friend? Me and my best friend, we've been friends since 9th grade. Oh, okay. So you met her brother two years after? Where was he hiding? I mean, when I was over there, he wouldn't be there. I think he would be with his friends. And then she told me she um she had a brother, but I never really, like, interacted with him yeah. until high school. And were you, like, immediately attracted to him? Not at first. Okay. But That's okay. it was just, like, it grew. It, he grew on me. That is so fucking funny because right now, as we speak, I'm going through kind of the same thing. Like, I, uh, my cousin has, like, a roommate, right? And, like, he, the roommate, I've known him for a long time. <laughs> They're going to kill me for doing this. <laughs> so, and then the, my cousin's roommate, like, he, I mean, he's hot, you know? But I've known him for, like, years and years. 
And then, like, finally, we were at a party, and, and we were, and he, he was like, "What are we gonna do with this tension we have?" And I was like, "I didn't know we had tension, but now that you say it, I guess that the tension is building up in my head." So right now we're like, I don't know, we fucked or whatever. But my cousin's super happy. Like, my cousin literally like locks the door. And he's like, "Come on, how is how is fucking my my cousin? Is she is she good?" Like that's how they talk. All right. <laughs> so mine's a little different. Mine's just open, open. But you know, it's just um, best friend roommates. You know, it's immediately i didn't like him so it's like you like immediately uh, but then you know it builds up you have a connection right yeah so when did you get that connection it was like in march of my senior year oh okay and we were in a staircase all right we were just talking in the staircase just hanging out just the two of us okay and then he kissed me oh wow that's cute and i was like oh okay so then this is new all right so right after you kissed when was the next time that you guys hooked up it was on my birthday. Um, I just turned 18. Birthday sex? Yeah. <laughs> and we were um, having a party in my house. And we went to the other room. And that's when we had sex. And I, I lost my virginity to him. How was it? Did he know what he was doing? He knew what he was doing. Oh, wow. Okay. I was like, wait, hold up. Because <laughs> he's, he's too, he was two years younger than me. And I was I was still a virgin, so I didn't know what to do. Oh. But he knew exactly what to do. He like he was like, are you sure you're okay? Do you really want this? Does and it hurt? Like, Should I stop? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then so, but it was fine. I was okay with it. And then we, we hooked up. And then the messed up part was that she was in the other room like she was like on the other side this girl there's no secret here she knows for sure i think she knows but she just don't want to act on it yeah but yeah and he likes you back what does he feel about you i mean we we like, we have a mutual like connection so yeah we do like each other but we tell each other like we would not be in a relationship together we're just not that type to be in a relationship with each other can you tell me what a relationship means to you a person told me, like, for them, like, a relationship is, like, you're going to be with that person constantly and, like, be with them, like, physically and emotionally. And, like, you have to be there for that person, call them every day. And for me, a relationship means, like, you know, you're there. You're not jealous. You don't have to be always with them, you know? So what is a relationship to you and why don't you want one? A relationship to me is just, like, you know, dating, being there for a person emotionally and physically. Me, I just want the physical part of the relationship. I don't want the emotional or the dating part. That's not for me. Yeah, exactly. I, I can't be in a relationship either. So I, I feel you. Do you feel guilty uh, for doing what you did? At first, I did. And then I was just like, okay, well, not anymore. Okay. Because we flirt in front of her and she doesn't care. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I think she suspects. Does she know that you guys like each other? She should. I think she does know that we like each other because he he be telling her like dirty jokes to tell me and she be like I don't want to say it but I'm gonna tell you anyway okay okay so on my birthday when I turned um 19 she came over to my place and then because he couldn't come over so she told me to that he said that he's old enough to give me a baby Ooh, that's a was that a joke or like for real he wanted to give you a baby i was just like that better be a joke because i don't want no kids he's not old enough to give you a baby i'm sorry <laughs> no i mean you're like trying to make this better i'm like oh i was like oh, no oh, never mind <laughs> never mind oh that's so that i mean that if he wants yo fuck that shit just told him listen you you need to wait at least 10 years yeah it was just like no cool and are you going to continue hooking up with her brother or do you want to stop? I mean, we try to stop and we can't. I mean, the last time we hooked up was over the weekend. You won't stop. Trust me. It doesn't work like that. No. Unless he gets married. Yeah. But. And then you might stop. Might. I don't know. And do you have any advice you would like to give people that are going through the same thing that you are going through? If you want to tell your best friend that you're hooking up with her brother or their sibling, just ease them into it and then just tell them. Yeah, she keep on showing things in front of them that that would you don't say it directly, but it's like completely obvious. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so I have kind of mixed feelings about this because I don't know if this is a secret secret because I think the best friend knows and I think they just don't talk about it, you know, but uh, maybe she didn't get caught, but 
I feel like if they flirt in front of her, if there's been like, you know, like that joke that he was like, I'm ready to get you pregnant and stuff. I mean, for me, a secret is more like you don't, no one will ever even suspect it. But for this one, you know, if I was her best friend, I'd be like, listen, I know you guys are fucking just don't tell me, you know? So uh, I think that it's pretty, it's pretty incredible that they haven't talked about it yet, but I feel like it's a tough one. And I, I feel like we've all been there. We've all been there that we like our best friends, like brother or sister or something like that. And um, usually I would tell them. I think telling them is better than like keeping it a secret because you're going to get exhausted. And well, as she said, she might actually find out if she doesn't know by like catching them doing something weird. I mean, she will feel uncomfortable with her brother, but, you know, she's going to be less mad if you tell her yourself. So I advise everybody to just go ahead and tell your best friend that you like their brother, sister, cousin, but just just tell them. It's going to be okay. Thank you guys so much for listening here today with me. Those were some crazy secrets and that was a hot week. I love talking to Chase and Gigi about their secrets that they've been hiding. Thank you guys so much for opening up and being so willing to share with us. I mean, Chase, wow, in a classroom. That's pretty wild. And you know what? You've lived out every guy's fantasy and having this steamy affair with your teacher, but then it burned out and you moved on. I mean, that has to be one of the most searched porn videos in the world. In contrast, I really sympathize with Gigi's situation. For her, sleeping with her best friend's brother started out as a naughty secret, and all these years, it still feels the same way. I mean, I still feel like your friend must know, right? Surely she has to, you know, figure it out from the flirting and everything, but I completely understand why you don't want to risk your friendship by actually blurring it out. It's a really tough one for me, and I don't know the answer, so I'm just going to let you guys decide. Head to my Instagram story where I'm going to be posting this week's best kept secret question, which is, would you tell your best friend if you've been sleeping with their brother or sister? It's a tricky one because in one hand, you're two adults, so your business is nobody else's. But on the other hand, your best friend isn't going to see it that way. Let me know what you guys would do if you were in Gigi's situation. I mean, I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say, and I'm going to be checking on my Instagram story. Okay, that's our show for this week. Much love and social distance kisses for all of you guys. I'll see you back here, same time, same place next week for more Best Kept Secrets. If you or someone you know are struggling emotionally, text START to 741-741 for a confidential chat anytime. Bum, bum. Thanks for listening to Best Kept Secrets with me, Lele Pons, only on Spotify in partnerships with Shot Studios. The Shot Studios original team includes creators John Shahidi and Sam Shahidi, my lovely producer Belinda Mercer, and audio editor Stephen Colon. From Spotify Studios executive producers Javier Pinot, Liz Gately, Gina Delvac, and Danny Trebodge. And a special thanks to Dan Behar, Jessica Molina, Francisco Quijada, and Julio Pabon. I'm Lele. Follow me on Instagram at Lele Pons and check out my exclusive merch at lilshop.com. That is lilshop, L-I-L, shop.com. Talk to you next week. <laughs>